There are over 150 million dogs and cats in the United States, and the $40 billion pet industry is leaving behind a tremendous ecological footprint. From food, to toys, to grooming supplies, what our pets consume is having a significant impact on them and our planet. My name is Dawn Behrens. I am the proud owner of From Wags to Whiskers, Boarding, Daycare, and Grooming. My pets are the most important thing to me. I will not sacrifice what they like and what is good for them. <laughs> My customers are demanding about the look of their dog, the smell of their dog. When I hear people talking about the environment and being green, my main thought is, wow, that's really gonna be expensive for me. It took me a long time to build this company and I'm really proud of it. I'm not gonna sacrifice it. It's gotta be cost effective. The dog's gotta love it. Things right now work for me. I really am not good with people telling me what to do. So you're thinking about the environment at all when you're running this place? Sure, absolutely. In what ways? Well, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I mean, that's really it. What do these dogs get to play with? Uh, what, what tennis puts them, balls. What puts them to sleep tennis so that they're just like so exhausted? Something like this. Mm -hmm. Usually I get him at the 99 cent store, you know, buy a bunch of it and throw it out when it gets dirty. And do you have any Colorful. idea what this is made of? What um, it looks materials? like some, some kind of like synthetic -y, cotton -y, wool -y stuff. That, right. We'll look at well, that. Well, they wouldn't make it for a dog if it wasn't good for a dog, right? Really? I think so. What else do you have here? I mean, do you have treats? What, what, are, you, sure. what are you giving to the dogs? Let's say, like, I have these pizza roll over. treats. Yeah. All the dogs love the pizza treats. They're tasty. And what are these made of? Propylene glycol. I don't know what that is, but that doesn't sound great. It doesn't sound so bad. Titanium dioxide. Any idea what that is? No. But don't you Red think they regulate the, the stuff too? Who's they? Hey, here is my bathing tub. Every dog that leaves here gets a bath. This thing's like this, so I'm not being wasteful with water. But we might be able to push it even a little bit further. I don't know how you could. What kind of shampoo are you using? I have this uh, shampoo, it's like a medicated shampoo. It's a whitener, brightener. Do you know what's inside it in terms of the ingredients? I think, I don't know. Unfortunately, it doesn't really list the ingredients. ingredients. Wow. <laughs> what about fleas and ticks? Um, we use like a flea and tick, like a little topical flea and tick thing. You put a drop on them every 30 days and it kills the fleas. All right, so keep this out of the reach of chill. Hazards to humans. Ha oh, hazards to domestic animals. I really don't know if there's a natural way to kill the flea and the tick. I want to show you a lot of green solutions. If it's not going to work for you, it's not going to work for your business, then right. as far as I'm concerned, it's out of here. But if we reduce the chemicals and we reduce the water or the shampoo, all the you materials. Have use, you have to use shampoo. You have to yeah, get them absolutely. clean. You have to use absolutely. the shampoo. I don't know what you're going to do about the water. They have to be cost effective for my business and my employees have to be able to do it. If you can do all that, I'm good. Many pet products are made with little regulation. So shampoos, toys, and food may contain chemicals and additives that aren't found in people products. Todd Warner owns Tail Washers, a grooming business that uses eco-friendly techniques to care for pets. So how did you get the inspiration to do this? Actually, I started a retail store that we kind of do a lot of green and eco-friendly products. And it was really through the customers who were saying that they wanted more of that in a grooming facilities. So when we decided to open up our grooming facility, that was just the way to go. So this is our grooming area. Go ahead and take that out. Thanks, Maddie. These are some of our all natural, uh, organic, non-toxic products. This is like a neem-based shampoo, which is actually great for the flea and tick treatment. Neem is actually a seed uh, from an evergreen tree that's a great alternative to the harsh chemical flea and tick treatments that we see on the market. So it's healthier for the animals here. Exactly. And natural biodegradable when it goes down the drain, back into the environment, it's actually gonna be probably benign or non-harmful to the environment. Exactly. Either. This is our Prima system. Okay. Wow. Kind of this actually has been a lifesaver here. Looks expensive. It's, it's actually, you know, it saves so much money as far as in the water bills. It combines the shampoo with the water. A dog that normally takes about 10 gallons to rinse, lather, and rinse again, will only use about one gallon of water here. So we're saving really? about nine gallons per dog. Yeah. So let's get Dexter ready here. Fill this with water in here. So what I'm gonna use on him is some citronella. It's all natural. It's great for the irritated skin. So we just pour some in there. And so you just pour in a little amount of shampoo. Yep. And then we put that okay. back on there. That amount of shampoo will clean that whole dog. Oh yeah, I mean, this is actually gonna last us for all day for 40 dogs. Wow. 
mix it. And what you want to do is kind of go close to the skin. Oh, wow, look at the sides. Does save that first initial rinse. That's a huge time saver. One of the products that we use that I, it's one of my personal favorites, is the blueberry facial. All it is is blueberries. Shampoos have all those chemicals to try to make a dog whiter looking. Where blueberries, something that nature provides us, totally natural. People may not realize that their dogs may be bringing chemicals you know, into the home or the chemicals that you're putting on a dog actually when they're playing with your kids. Mm -hmm. Well, especially if you think about a lot of the conventional flea and tick treatments. I mean, when they tell you, like, don't even get this on your fingers or get it on your skin, it stays on our dogs. And if our kids mm -hmm. are playing with our dogs, all of a sudden they have it all on them. Go, oh, Dex. Chamois is also another good. Like you use on a car? Exactly. They absorb the water, and when you do your laundry, and it's going to you'll be able to wash a lot more with the same amount of water. So even in the washing process, you're using less water, less heat. Better for the planet, saves you money. Byproducts. Byproduct can be beaks, feathers. It can be entrails. Most of our dogs wouldn't even eat it if it wasn't like coated with like recyclable restaurant grease. How can so they do that? This is one of the things that we're trying to change now. We're trying to make pet food companies more responsible for what they sell. And by using organic yeah. ingredients, removing those artificial and synthetic ingredients, that's better for the planet too. Yeah. Now what about cost? Cost, you know, they are a little bit more expensive, but I find the offset on that is you're gonna spend a lot less money in vet bills. Your dog's gonna live a happier, longer, healthier life. And that's really what we want. And let's do the dog test. Let's dog see. Test. Gussie? <laughs> Going Josh well. Test. Gus likes it. <laughs> I mean, the majority of the dogs are actually loving this. But it's, you know, it's. That's, you're that eating it. Excellent. Yeah. Oh my God. Really the dogs good. like it. Yeah. Does Josh like it? This is actually better than my lunch. That's it. But you guys, this is your profession. You really love animals. And it's nice to know that there's ways to care for them. They're going to be healthier for them. Let's see if my customers like it. I have this Jack Russell named Freckles. His mom is really picky. We'll see what she has to say. Gonna but pass that test. Yeah, so if we pass that test, then I think we're really making some lazy environmentalist progress. Do you need some help there? <laughs> you all right? Wow, you're really having a moment, aren't you? Come on in, Freckles. We Come got on, a surprise for you. <laughs> hey, Dawn. Let's do freckles. Come on, baby doll. Here we go, baby doll. Ready for All right, this? Let's do it. All right, freckles. We're gonna put this to the it's test. The we'll moment. see if this can really work for you. Okay, baby doll. See. Good luck, freckles. Are you sure this isn't gonna scare my dog? Right, let's get started. Oh. Stand back and let the pros work here. We're not using a lot of water, that's for sure. So I'll give you that one. Okay? Right. It really is saving on a lot of water, and it, it did save on time. I guess I'm just concerned is, you know, yeah. is it going to get freckled white? Because, like, this parts of the white need really to be bright and shiny because it's just kind of dirty. Let's really see, huh? Yeah. We need a blueberry facial. Blueberry okay. facial. I'm excited about this. All right, yeah. OK, let's Pardon? see if it does the whitening that it's supposed to do. Give myself a little facial, too. I think she's totally psyched. She's like, guys, thank you so much for making me an eco-friendly dog. I really don't like being proven wrong. Let's get freckles right, dry. I'm a little, I'm just a little skeptical about this chamois here. I don't know how this is going to work out. Very used to the towel. The towel okay, method well, works for me. Okay. So what do you think, chamois? It's not thrilling. She's feeling pretty soft. Though. Really white too. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow. We gave her a blueberry facial. Let's see how she smells. We used some uh, neem shampoo. Some what? Neem. It's all natural. From an evergreen tree. From an evergreen tree. It smells wonderful. I don't think her face has ever been so white. Wow. Do you want to give her some natural treats? It tastes good, huh? Did you have a fun time? Bye, Freckles. Bye. Thank you. Bye, eco-friendly dog. Good job. Bye. Great yeah. job for you. Right on. <laughs> So what did you think about the bathing system? That's an amazing system. The treats, the toys, they might cost a little bit more. You know, you feel really good about the cost. In the end, I'm going to save money. And the dog's going to be healthy. That's really important. Well, if eco-friendly products cost more, mm -hmm. I'm usually not into that. Because I don't really feel like very often people will spend that extra money just to do the thing that's right for the planet. But if it's really going to work for you in your business, you know, that's really taking us to a place where it's not just good for the planet, but it's really saying, yeah, I'm going to make this happen. I'm actually going to implement this, and then we're getting real change. I can run with this. Dawn has discovered some great solutions for her pet grooming business. Although some of these choices may cost a bit more, they will save her money over the long run, 